Why was there a bylaw adopted four years ago to ban enclosed tents? And why is he raising this issue again on Monday? Like, I don't think it's too far for them to come out and say publicly, look, anybody caught doing this will be hit with a serious fine. Is there the political will to put an end to this filthy habit? David Menzies for Rebel News here in Wasaga Beach, Ontario, home to the world's longest freshwater beach. Unfortunately, these days, some are alleging this beautiful gem in Ontario is turning into more of a toilet than a beach. I say that, folks, because a few days ago, a woman who is a resident of Wasaga Beach, Natty, um, well, she went on TikTok and created somewhat of a viral video when she complained about some people coming to the beach and, well, defecating on the beach, burying used diapers on the beach, leaving all kinds of litter behind here is an excerpt of what Natty had to say. I've had to yell at people for shitting on the borderline property line of my backyard. And yes, it was Indian families. So that's not false. You can check my town's page where they say there are Indian people pooping on our beach because there is, they're digging holes and they're pooping and putting tents up because they don't want to go to the washrooms. And by the way, folks, we did track down Natty and we have a separate interview with her in the aftermath of that TikTok video. Now we have reached out to sources to see if Natty is accurate. And the answer is yes. We communicated with one former Wasaga Beach bylaw officer, and he said it is a matter of fact that people are doing that and that it's a very, you know, testy issue because typically when he was on the job, it was not uncommon to be swarmed by up to 20 people uh, trying to intimidate him into not writing that $155 ticket. Now, the question arises, now that this is being exposed, what are the authorities going to do about this? Well, we've reached out to the town of Wasaga Beach a couple of times. Uh, they've acknowledged our emails, but they will not come on camera for an interview. However, we do know that Mayor Brian Smith issued a statement last uh, week, and here is what it had to say in part. Quote, the town has received no evidence from residents, visitors, or the Ontario government to verify that any undesirable, unsanitary behavior has occurred on the beach areas that make up Wasaga Beach Provincial Park. If any evidence comes to light, I assure you that we will be quick to act, end quote. He also went on to say that these reports are just so much misinformation. But how's this for a piece of evidence? When my cameraman Lincoln Jay and I were at the beach last week, we encountered a bylaw officer with Ontario Parks and check out what she had to say. You heard about this problem happening? Yes, I have. Okay then, how do we stop it from happening? Um, unless we um, see it happening, we can't really do anything personally. Okay. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all we can do. Yeah, so there you go. That was a parks officer on the record saying she is indeed aware of this problem. And I have to tell you, the province, much like the town of Wasega Beach, they are in denial that this issue exists. Here is a statement from Parks Ontario. Quote, staff at Wasaga Beach Provincial Park, as well as staff at other Ontario parks, have not observed this behavior during their regular patrols of the beachfront or in response to any complaints. Park staff continue to investigate and address complaints from visitors, end quote. Well, if that is the case, folks, that bylaw officer that we spoke to last week, was she fibbing about what she has witnessed on the beach? And if she isn't telling the truth, what in the world would motivate her to lie? Now, part of the problem we understand from our ex bylaw source is that if you look around the beach, you will see fully enclosed tents. And don't let that tent fool you. It's not so much about getting solace from the sun, but in some cases, these are, for lack of a better term, 
portable outhouses. People dig a hole within the tent, do their business, and then bury it or they bury used diapers there. And it's such a shame because it's not as though people are being denied. I see all kinds of trash cans. They're not overfilling at all uh, to the uh to my right. Um, behind me, uh, just uh, several meters away, there's yet another public washroom. I mean, what is this? Entitlement? Is it laziness? Is it a combination of the two? It looks like with some of the garbage cans, like the one behind me, there is a capacity issue. Can I just make an appeal to people? If the garbage can is already overflowing, don't leave your trash behind on the sand. Pack it up, take it with you, and dispose of it at your house. Is that really too much to ask? Now, folks, I can tell you that when people agree to come on camera to weigh in on this issue, they are universally appalled by it. Here, check out some of our responses that we got last week. I just feel like some people, you know, they don't, uh, they don't know life yet, so they just beach <laughs> bury it like an animal you know and they are defecating on oh, the I've beach heard about and that. Yeah. yeah i have heard about that what do you make of that ma'am i think it's disgusting honestly <laughs> i think it's really gross people could step on it i know for a fact and it's not just beach one here uh -huh. um i used to uh property on beach uh, allenwood beach and we had that problem there and of course we could find it because kids would be playing in the sand making a sand castle or whatever and there would be uh poop <laughs> in the sand and it, it's a thing it's it's without sounding like a racist or anything like that it has nothing to do with being racist it's just in different countries people have different traditions and different things yeah it's very bad because we some feel very some, sad yeah. about it you know it's not a good thing yeah i think it's horrible i think it's terrible they should not do that to the beach it's like a great place but i think one of the reasons this is a hot button issue in which the elected officials are daring not to wade into it's the issue of race or more appropriately culture our sources tell us that the vast majority of violators are indians as in people from india and our source in the indian community ted smith not his real name of course what he has said to us is that this is a commonplace practice in india i have since gone on to discover, thanks to Ted, numerous videos online of this odious practice, i.e. defecating on a public beach, taking place on Indian beaches. Check out this video, and by the way, um, <laughs> reserve some caution. It, these are disturbing images. If you have to go to the pressure, you have to go to the pressure. You have to go to the water, you have to go to the water. वहाँ हाँ संडास क्लियर नहीं पब्लिक रहती है इस करके बोले तो यहाँ अंदर चले आते आइए मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ कैसे हम लोग बैठते हैं और कहाँ बैठते कैसे संडास करते हैं इधर आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ लोग बैठते हैं ऐसे संडास है इधर देखिए आप यहाँ भी संडास है पानी जब भी उधर रहता तो हम लोग यहीं किनारे पर बैठ जाते हम केले तो थोड़ा ही दूर तक जाते बाकी और मच्छी पकड़ने के खेकड़ा पकड़ने के लिए लोग अंदर घुस जाते हम लोग क्या करते दरिया के किनारे खड्डा खोदते हैं और खड्डे में ऑलरेडी ऑटोमेटिक पानी आ जाता है क्योंकि रेती से पानी रिस के आता है तो इसलिए पानी लाने की जरूरत हम लोग को पड़ती नहीं इसलिए ज़्यादा अपने को सहूलियत मिल जाती है और यही सहूलियत की वजह से लोग लाइन लगा के बैठ जाते हैं वो तो हमारा आपका बना हुआ प्लस ये कुदरती प्लस है they're always going to avoid making statements about any specific race or culture they have to otherwise they their constituents will get mad about it so i i understand that it's just i it seems like that's most likely the issue when you have a culture where that's more common and they come here and it's not you know very strictly enforced that they can't do that then they're going to get away with, with it and it's going to happen so maybe there is something to this after all as a matter of fact folks I did a little research and did you know that in 2020 just four years ago the town of wasaga beach they passed a bylaw prohibiting the use of four-sided enclosed tents but it's a toothless tiger since wasaga beach is officially a provincial park town of wasaga bylaws have no effect here and yet if the town thought it prudent to ban four-sided enclosed tents what was the reason for that well i think we know the reason and as a matter of fact i understand that coming up this monday mayor smith says 
he will make a motion calling on the province to ban tents on the beach and to improve the way it is maintained and patrolled. Quote, we will be working with the province in order to make sure that the provincial park which people need to understand is the beachfront in Wasaga Beach, is maintained, is clean, and is safe, end quote. But I'm very confused right now. The mayor has been saying all of these tales of people defecating on the beach is disinformation and misinformation and denies it happening. So why was there a bylaw adopted four years ago to ban enclosed tents? And why is he raising this issue again on Monday. He's talking out of both sides of his mouth as far as I'm concerned, folks. And we'll just see how that goes on Monday and we'll just see if uh, Parks Ontario is going to follow through and make sure that this gorgeous beach is not defecated on, ruining it for everyone. Would you support a bylaw that bans fully enclosed tents on Wasaga Beach? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't thought about that too much. You know, there there could be issues of, because they're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. So enforcement of that, you know, that that would be a challenge. Um, but just the, I don't know. I don't like the idea of people using the washroom on the beach and just shoveling it up, you know, until yeah. somebody steps in it. So this is a disgusting, grotesque practice that has to end. It has nothing to do with being racist or being culturally insensitive. Now the question is, in the days and weeks ahead, is there the political will to put an end to this filthy habit? For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Folks, I know you love it when Rebel News brings you the other side of the story, but the fact remains, we need your help. Unlike the mainstream media, we don't get a nickel's worth of funding from the federal government, nor would we accept it if offered. So please, if you can, go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation.